Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We got seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 323, NASDAQ up 193, SP is up 54. Gold, gold contract up $34.60, trading at 2343. We get silver up 22 cents, $27.47 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 23 cents. $86.82 a barrel, note, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 17 ticks, trading 109.18. The 30-year off one full point at 117.13 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 173 ticks, I believe. Where'd you go, man? You do this to me. 191 ticks at 104.312. Euros at 108. Yen's at uh, 151. British pounds at... 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? I'm going to bring up the futures first because these futures are not going to hold coming into the close, folks. So we hit a high today of 52.72. Up big. Okay, we're up, still up big. We're still up 49 points at 52.46. Now, if we bring this back, what you're going to see is that the last time that we had any volume on the upside brings us all the way back this morning to 50 to 52.19, okay? Now, that being said, where we're going to start first is, yes, I suspect these S&Ps are going to be down at the 52.37, 10 points down, you know, within the next 10 minutes. If that's what we get, then we'll go to that next swing because if that's what we get, what I expect you're going to see here, you'll see a dumping. And more than likely, that normally flips around at, I don't know, 315, 320, okay? So that's on your E-minis, okay? We go to the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. So the NQs had a high today of 18,408. You're still up 203 at 18,280. And you can see the NQs are so much stronger than the, the S&P. It's wild, man. So the NQs are going to go after the same, well, it's going after the same bar, and that bar is 251. So that's 30 points down from where we are right now. And same deal, I expect you're going to get it. Now, if, we, if that's what we get, folks, then you want to put your bar going all the way back to 10.30 this morning. Well, to, no, it's a 9.30 bar. 9.30, 9.40 bar. That's where you want to go, man. Because we don't have the selling yet. Okay? We don't have the selling. We don't have the selling yet, meaning the volume on the selling. So you have to wait for that first test. Because the first test on the NQs had 25,000 contracts. We go into the ES for a second. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so the S&Ps have 56,000 contracts at that level. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold market. Bottom line, gold's on fire. Pretty amazing, actually. I mean, this thing's really on fire, though. So you get gold trading up $33, 272,000 contracts traded. You know, you're breaking highs with volume. And gold's on an ABC structure up to... 2550. Now, that 2550, by the way, folks, is a one to one ABC structure up. And bottom line is that you can just go, what gold loves to do is a one to 1.382 or a one to 50 in the physical contract as well as the equities. We get the silver contract, that's up 113,000 contracts. Good contract volume also there. Action. Now, if we go over the dollar, it's good. This is really intriguing because. The dollar, you know, came down the last two days. You get a counter trend bounce that's happening right now. It gave it up at 104. 
693. We're at 104, 315. So that's saying it's setting up the next leg down. And if that's what we have, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You know, my, my take is that we're going after this gap. But when you start analyzing these things, man, it's like, okay, does it really want to go after the gap right now? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my take is that, yeah, we're going after the gap, folks, okay? And I'll show you why. This is, this is kind of, this is, no, this is not kind of, this is exactly where my head's at. So if I bring up the S&P, the SPY, what you're going to see is this. And these are all the warning signals, okay? And the warning signals actually go all the way back to, here's the first time. It's so January 31st. There's, there's, that was the first time that you went down on volume, and then it just, just doesn't stop. The next time we went down was on February 13th with volume, and then right there, what is that? That's March 15th, and then we had yesterday. Now, What's unusual here is this. See, this is four of them. What I've seen on a consistent basis, okay, is you get three high volume lows, and then you go higher with lighter volume, and then all of a sudden the market just falls apart. So we'll see where the whole baby shakes out, but there's, there's no doubt that it's a, you know, it's a strong market. I suspect what does happen, though, as soon as we get this, a, well, Correction on the way down, fills the gap. We're going to go right back topside. Um, <laughs> it's, this is absolutely wild when you look at the interest rate structure. The jobs number came in huge this morning. So we're at 4.392. And for three months, this is the high. Let's go look at six months. Okay, six months is 4.990. And one year... Yeah, it's 4.990. So you can see, you know, I mean, we're only, you know, what, 60.60 off of the high. And the low is 3.3. And, you know, the bottom line is that uh, we have gone from, you know, six rate cuts to three rate cuts to maybe no rate cuts. So pretty intense. Stay right there. Coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now. Up 323, NASDAQ up 188, S&P's up 53. We'll come right back.